Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to be changing or repairing the USB port in a Garmin Nuvi 42LM. The procedure is the same with Garmin Nuvi 40, 50, 51, 52, 41, 42. Most of them have the same type of a board and the same type of USB port. So here is how we do it. First thing we need to know is that we need the right tool. The right tool is T5 uh, star-shaped uh, screwdriver. And we have four screws to remove. One. Two. three, and four. So these are the four screws that you need to remove. Now we will set the screws aside and crack this open. So this simply, you need good nails. Um, I don't even have good nails today, but you have to have like longer nails in order to open this. And you simply push it like that and then enter your nail like that with your nail you slide you could use tools prying tools but it, you it will end up damaging the case it will end up scratching uh, the case here and there it will it's not uh, you know safe to use prying tools so it, the best way is to crack one side and then put your nail and slide your nail like this and it will open everything. Once you open it, do not remove it like that because there's a very fragile cable, LCD cable, screen cable that might break. So you need to put it like this and then see this brown bar right here? That bar needs to be flipped upwards in order to open. So I'm going to do it slowly. Watch. You have to do it parallel in order to not damage it. Not like doing one end and then the other end. This is the open position. This is the closed position. You have to do it parallel like that. And this is the cable that we remove. Okay. So we set this aside now we have one two additional screws which we have to open after you open these two screws you f uh, flip this up like this and you unplug the battery the battery this on this one doesn't have any charge because it was obviously uh, couldn't charge because this was bad so this is our USB port that needs to be uh, re-soldered so basically we have to re-solder this so the first thing we need to do is we need to clean up the area so somebody previously as you can see put some type of a super glue there which is very bad you never want to put super glue super glue is not a conductive to to conduct uh, to conduct electricity and it will simply create a very bad mess uh, so we have to clean it with a soldering iron and we need to use some rosin Okay, your soldering iron tip needs to be really hot because the the, the ground wire actually runs runs wide inside. It's a layer of its own, and uh, the soldering iron tip gets really cold uh, quickly. Now we put the new replacement part. You can look at it from different angles to see how it sits. 
we have to solder all these pins one at a time very very carefully all the pins have been soldered as you can see now we have to uh, straighten the plug to its correct position it has to be at a 90 degree angle the the, the connector should be shift shifted forward a little bit just a little bit so let's shift it forward okay now we have to put some solder on the sides that's holding it And now some solder right here in this area. You need a little bit of solder there too. Let's put some solder there too. Okay. Okay, so I put excessive solder here. That's too much. That's too much solder. I need to reduce it a little bit because if you put too much solder what happens is it creates solder bridge now we put it back in place and we insert the two screws oh before you put it back in place I almost forgot you need to plug in the battery because you cannot plug in the battery once you put the screws back in the silver screws make sure it matches perfectly and the holes match here perfectly and if it does match that means the socket that you just soldered is in the right spot it hasn't shifted right left or any other direction because if you do these will not match all right okay so now we will put these screws let me give you a side view angle The second one both screws are in place now we put back the screen now this I'm gonna go back to the top camera this is critical so when you're putting back the screen you have to make sure that that the screen cable is in all the way before you flip it closed because if it's not in all the way it, you will have either uh, no video or like a white screen without image or one color only like all green things like that so I'm pushing it with one finger pushing the cable in with one finger as I'm locking with the second finger so this should be good this should be good but to be on the safe side, before I put the screws back in, I'm going to turn it on and see. And then voila. Looks good. So this looks good. I'm going to unplug it. Obviously the battery is now completely dead. Power off. Just snap it back in. Very easily snapping back in. This is the defective one that we removed and now we will put the screws now question is where do you buy the, the replacement you can get the replacement from Ali, 
Express, which is a branch of Alibaba. How to search for it? You have to type 90 degree upright SMD mini USB port. Vertical, also you could say vertical mount, vertical mount mini USB port, SMD, because SMD stands for surface mount device. It mounts on the surface of the board. It doesn't go through uh, the other side like normal devices. Make sure everything is good. And we are good to go. We're going to power it up and voila. So yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, again, I hope this video was educational and you learned a thing or two. If you did, please click on like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.